Welcome home, Rat Pack. Marcus here, and welcome to Comfort Cartoons, the show where I collect absolutely everything from the late 90s, 2000s, all the way to the modern day. And I'm also trying to create the world's biggest SpongeBob. <laughs> and Colossian <laughs> Collection. And the creator, CEO, and founder of this channel you're currently watching was also the pet temporarily for Timmy Turner. I wish I had a puppy. I was wondering where she went for that weekend. But I hope you beautiful people are having an amazing day. And if you guys aren't, you know the drill. Hunting time, camera flip. This place is a gold mine. <laughs> it's about to get a whole lot brighter, Rep Pack, because your boy is here. And today is one of your guys' favorite series on this show, and that is because we are gonna be going thrifting, finding some of the craziest stuff that we can in the wild. And of course, we'll always be looking for our favorite things. The main man, the big guy, yeah, you see him over there. The big guy, SpongeBob SquarePants. We'll be looking for Nickelodeon, Cartoon Network, Disney, anything in regards to animation and of course the things that make us go Greetings. and we're gonna be going to one of our favorite stores that we go to it has been just time and time again they always have good stuff we just did another one recently where we went to Savers and Goodwill and I really enjoyed that one but you know I kind of want to get back to our other uh, location where we end up finding some of the best stuff that we found this is gonna be just a video where you know the rep pack and me and Mitchell go there's no verses no like battling to see who gets the best <laughs> items no wheel you know just finding some good stuff you just you really don't want to play the, the verses no more huh you don't want to you want to try to go to that what did you say are you avoiding it oh i can't stand you when you do that you shut your winning mouth okay <laughs> i'm not avoiding it okay it's just you know i need a little break from the competition you know things were getting a little tense so we're just gonna be going seeing what we can find maybe the next one will be versus and i'll have to smack I'll have to smack Mitchell up and show him who's boss. But anyway, we're gonna be going to our location. We might go to two locations actually and see what they have. Without any further ado, let's hop in the car. So let's go ahead and head out. Okay guys, so we got a little plush basket. They're up here where they put like the bigger plushies and stuff like that. I kind of like the smaller ones and I usually find like, some of the better ones in here and I'm already seeing stuff. So we have an ice bear here, $5, we're grabbing that. We also got Brian here too. Very actual good. Brian. Actual Brian. Last time Mitchell saw that penguin, it wasn't Brian, but he thought it was Brian. There we go. We have Mihao right here. She's $5, cool. we're gonna grab this too. And then we also have Tweety here too. We're gonna grab this one. Uh, oh, look, we got Mabel. Are you kidding me? That is so sweet. So this is from Gravity Falls. We actually have a little Mabel here. That's an instant grab. Hey, and Scooby too. Oh, that's crazy design. <laughs> Why is there so freaking much? Let's see. Oh, oh dang. Dude, what is this? Is this uh, not Smurfs, but what is it called? No, no, it's a, those are snorks. Yeah. A snork. There you go. Like a snorkel, yeah. <laughs> We're going to grab him too. Is this a snork or just That's a, a, unrelated? Unrelated. <laughs> Blue M&M. What else do we got in here? We have PK Slider. He still has a tag on on him too. We had the Tom Nook one of this one. Now I'm gonna leave this though. At only $2, that was not bad. Okay, we got Grimace there and also we got the Hamburglar. And a little M&M. I mean, I can't leave them since they're there together. We're gonna grab them. Oh, okay, oh, there we go. Patrick. We have the SpongeBob, but we don't have that Patrick. So let's grab that. And then let's see, I think um, we got some of the- uh, Seven Dwarves. Seven Dwarves, well, uh, we'll hold on to this Sleepy right there. We'll hold on to him for, oh, $8. We're not gonna hold on to that. <laughs> <laughs> How about Doc? Where do you see Doc? Right there? Yeah, as I'm saying, they're probably all $7. I think we'll leave it there for uh -huh. now. I think we got everything that we need from here. Not one, but two of these guys? <laughs> That's actually sweet. Which one's in better shape? I mean, they're both, this one's got some staining up here. This one's, I mean, this one looks pretty freaking Hey, clean. there we go. So a little SpongeBob backpack. You know it's a good day when we get some sponge. Pretty clean on the inside, too. The zippers oh, are You think this is like yellow? Yellow label, for sure. If I were to see, 2011. Yeah, yeah. so yellow label era. That is so sweet though i love the actual like it's, it's actually like textured yeah. it's in there it's not just a print on it's actually textured and stitched That's into the sick. bag that is a nice quality you do not get these kind of backpacks usually in the pineapple era unless it's like lounge fly or something, something yeah. like that it's nice and cute and small too okay that's an instant grab a win already <laughs> some sponge let's go 
Oh my goodness. What are we stuck in like 2015? What the heck? Do you remember this? Wow, that was like completely deleted from my brain. The whip and the nanays. That, that, that's just the whip and the nanays. I'm sorry, I brought that back in your brain. Let's just re-delete it. <laughs> this pig over here looks like this thing too. Mo Williams. Nothing too crazy. It's so funny. Me and Mitchell were over there, like going through all the plushies, and some lady literally walks up and is like, "Wow, you guys know all the characters." Because we're like naming all the characters. I'm like, "Yeah, kind of, kind of a thing here." <laughs> but we do definitely not know all of them. Thankfully, you guys help us out so much. I know a good amount, but definitely not all of them. Probably more than most people my age, though. <laughs> This guy is super cute. Is he a Star Wars like? He's from Star. I think that there's like a Star Wars like kid, like Young Jedi show. I think it's called. I can't remember the name oh, of it. Oh, is Star Wars branded? Okay. Yeah, but it's like the kids that uh, Anakin murders in one of the movies. Like, that's cool. <laughs> that they had a show. <laughs> that's interesting. <laughs> Hey, and this was reality. Okay, and then we have Cookie Monster here. This is actually really nice. Got the little padded bottoms oh, on his feet with the characters. Oh, this guy's still here. The Simpsons monkey. But is he on sale now? What is on sale? Blue. He is He blue. is new. He is still new, supposedly. Even though he's been here for like two weeks. <laughs> he's still new. The big feet? Yes, this is the big feet. Oh my goodness, he's adorable. So for those of you guys that don't know, I'm working on collecting all of the Disney big feet, which is these plushies that have like the large feet to go with them. I have a lot of them, but I'm waiting to show you guys them until I have like a full collection of them. I think I have like six right now, seven. They retail at Disney for like freaking 30 bucks, so I'm not going to do that. But, but we've usually been finding them here and in thrift stores for like four or five bucks. And now I finally have the big feet for Piglet. He definitely needs a little bath, but oh my goodness, he's is he, cute. He's so precious. I, the only thing is I don't have the poo yet. There's a poo big feet too. Even though he kind of looks like not as cute as Piglet, to be honest. We'll put it on screen. Here. But the piglet one, that's an instant grab. Lisa here, but she's nine dollars. Way too Man. much. And she got freaking her hair set on fire at some point. There's T-Bone again. They always find T-Bone here, actually. Oh, wait, here's Pooh back here. It ain't no big feet though. It's a little feet poo. <laughs> little chicken little. <laughs> is that chicken that has mini stuff? It looks like chicken little. And this is like one of the creepiest things I've ever seen in my life. It's like a smiley face and it became a, 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 a living human. That is terrifying. <laughs> like this classic smiley face sticker you saw the one of the Walmart mask yeah, literally <laughs> but just give him arms and a leg that's what he looks like underneath his mugshot <laughs> please don't come into my life we have a baby shark here I mean there's a lot of stuff man this Scooby's got them stiff arms stiff arms man said <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think that's pretty much sums it up. We did find a lot of plushies now. Like, that's actually insane. Oh, insane amount. Yeah. And we actually found some bags over there, guys. I looked. I'm going to save them as a surprise here, but we got two bags. I'll give you one little sneak peek one. We have a Dwight Schrute bobblehead, and I think that that's the girl that dies in, like, the first couple episodes of uh, Stranger Things. I don't know why everybody's dying in, the, in these references today, but <laughs> she did die in Stranger Things. That's, uh, I think her name is Dorothy. Debra. Debra? Something, Something like that. Yeah. The D. I think you're right. But yeah, she, she dies and she's like the first person to go to the Upside Down world. And then I have one, but this is a surprise one until we get back to the cavern. Okay, so they actually got rid of like the DVD section they used to have in the back here. So we'll have to check up just the DVDs in the front. We found this little blushy wall here, you guys can see. And I found Eva. So we have her. I mean, I'm thinking about getting there. $4. We'll think about it, but definitely a hard maybe. And Mitchell said that he was going to get this after he turns the camera Oh my gosh. Off. Can we stop? So after he turns the camera off, he's going to get this and he's gonna go um, fill it up with some water and drink this for the rest of the night. It's a little sippy cup. So yeah, that's uh, Mitchell's thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm used to the little one. Uh, that's a legit pillow. <laughs> Man, that's a big soup. It's almost like they were kind of made for that, though. Maybe they always were. Maybe they were that size and they made them small. Or they were small and they're like, this one's made for a pillow. <laughs> <laughs> they made it big, but we're going to leave food, even though it's really cool. All right, and we're looking in the media section, and there's really nothing that we need. I mean, I don't even see any SpongeBob if we did want to get it. There's no Nickelodeon ones, unfortunately. There's some nostalgic ones for sure, like some Barney there, some Veggie Tales. You can't go wrong with that, but nothing. Oh, even some Magic School Buzz. Oh, wow. <laughs> what does Mrs. Frizzle look like a villain from Scooby Doo? Oh, like Kevin like Cutler's <laughs> yeah. wife. Her, the animation of her face, like the, their faces, don't even look like Magic School Buzz animation. Like, they look like literally. Really like old school Hanna Barbera. <laughs> All right, I'm not seeing anything. What about you? No, I don't see anything that we need. 
Yeah. What about Bob? Uh, those are we're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move on over then. It looks like on the right they have a couple more DVDs here. Veggie Tales again down there. I a lot of the same DVDs. Yep, and then some books. We'll look in the books and see if we find anything. But I mean, we got pretty lucky in the plushies. I think you can only get so lucky in so many places, you know? That is cool. The Native Sun. The other one behind it is completely unrelated. <laughs> for some reason, yeah. Yeah, but I kind of want it for the Ren and Stimpy one. You don't see Ren and oh. Stimpy comics. Oh, man. Is the back side? Why do they have them separated? That one should have been together. I know. These are so cool, too. Dang. It makes me wonder if there's more. Okay, let's keep looking. These are all Marvel. Yeah, that's Ren and Stimpy. It's like, now you gotta check the backs. Adventure Time. Hey, not bad. This is Adventure Time trade book. That's it. Oh, there's a TMNT one, if you're interested in that. Honestly, if I have to get one of these, I like the cover on this one more. The, the Ren one? Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna get this one, because they're five bucks. If it had both in there, that would be awesome, but unfortunately, they some reason separated in this weird way, and I have no interest in the Hawkeye and Hercules. I thought, I didn't even know Hercules. I mean, I guess he's like fair use, so everybody uses him, but I didn't even know Hercules was a Marvel character. It's a shame we can't just like take this out and switch them. Yeah. Switch them, yeah, but unfortunately, they aren't gonna probably let us do that, so we're gonna just go with this one. Oh, is that a stack of Scooby books? Yeah. Oh, no. Two Damn, of them. that's how they get you, man. Because two of those books are Scooby-Doo books that we definitely don't have. Two of them are Captain Underpants. Yeah, the Captain Underpants ones we don't necessarily need. But they are only at $2, though. That's how they get you. I'm going to get them. I'm going to get them because I just really want this book. That one looks really cool. The scary the Scooby. The scary Scooby, and he's, like, stitched together, and he's got the red evil eyes. That looks like a fun book to read, so I'm going to get this one. We have Little Bear, <laughs> Visit to the Dead. Little, little Bear again. Oh, Little Bill, sorry. I, we literally ended that clip because I said Little Bear, or we refilmed it, and I said Little Bear again. Little Bill. <laughs> little Bill and Little Bear need their own, <laughs> their own crossover show. I would watch it. But Little Bill, I don't know if I want you to be my, my dentist, to be honest. You're missing your center teeth. How do you miss a center tooth? Usually you have two in the middle, Little Bill. You're missing one in the middle, and it doesn't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> little Bill, you are not doing any dental work on me. What do we got in here, though? Yeah, looks pretty rough besides little Bill. It's Stan Lee for the six people that remember him. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a throwback. All right. I think that's gonna be it though. I'm honestly really happy we found it. I wish I could have got both of them though. And it's not on sale, it's blue, unfortunately. Yellow, red, and white are half off. Everything else, new. No, no, no. Over to the next door, but we got so much stuff here. Honestly, we probably are only gonna just get like really substantial stuff, like anything epic that we see at the next location. Plus, we're also working on the next plush roulette, so we got a couple bags here we gotta check out with already. We'll see on the front if they have anything that's just is incredible, because usually we have some more expensive stuff, but if, if it's awesome, then you know, I'll let you guys know and we'll pick it up. But without any further ado, let's head on out of here. Dude, they have a pet egg. We we're about to check out right now. I don't Those really... are throwbacks, man. Yeah, you don't hear about the pet egg anymore. Except As for seen on TV. What's disgusting, though, my, my mom had one of these. And my sister used it, too. And my mom, I don't know why, they, they, they were big fans of them. Though. And they actually use this thing. And what happens is, is it fills up in this back canister with all the dead skin. Yuck. It, like, scrapes off your skin like a little, like, cheese grater shape. That's disgusting. <laughs> and then it fills up the entire back. So you can see you could actually pour out all the skin. I used to have this irrational fear that somebody would like replace the powdered cheese at like a pizza place. Like a Parmesan cheese, yeah. The Parmesan cheese with this. Pet eggs are kind of gross, but I mean, hey, they work, right? The skin's in there for a reason. So we are in here now, and this store is a lot less crowded than the last one, so maybe, hey, dude, it's a pillow pet. As if we haven't seen those before. <laughs> the only pillow pet I would get is, oh my God. You want some spam? That was literally what I was going to say. If I can find the old school pillow pet of the old ladybug. You heard the, the, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. the red ladybug? This is the pink one, though. Oh. If we could find that red ladybug, I would actually get that pillow pet, but not this one. This is like a reproduction of that original one. And that one has like a voice thing in it, huh? Yeah. If we saw that one, I might get it, because that's just such a nostalgic one from the commercial, you know? Yep. <laughs> but other than that, I think the door pillow pet just takes care of all my needs. This is pretty sweet, dude. Yoshi. But I think he has a... It's like, like an RC an thing, yeah. yeah. that goes there and a remote controller, so I'm not gonna get him, but ah, oh, that is a sick piece. That's nice. Mitchell found this little spooky pirate's uh, Imagine X box like right here. It almost glow in the dark. -y. It almost looks like Scooby-Doo or like a uh, Flying Dutchman thing. Yeah. But unfortunately, it's unrelated to any of those things, so we're gonna leave it. And they have these everywhere, man. We've seen them sealed, opened, everything. <laughs> I remember I used to want one of these so bad. Now I'm kind of like, oh. 
No, I have I've always had one at any point in time. Whoa! Oh, never mind. I thought that was a T-Rex with a horn. It's just a T-Rex with a tail of another T-Rex. <laughs> <laughs> You've got T-Rex options. Oh, whoa! <laughs> Got another new one. Another big foot. <laughs> yes, another big so piece. cute. This is a Dalmatian one right here. Oh my goodness. This one, I need this one in the bolt, but this one is so adorable. I'm hyped. Okay, so we're getting him for sure. He's only he's six dollars, but honestly, for the collection aspect of this one's amazing. We're grabbing him. I think I said I have eight before, right? But now I have nine. I don't remember. When I get to like 20, that's when I'll do a showcase video. <laughs> oh, and this big old domo here. Have shadow again. The same crunchy. He always has this dust balls around his like eyelid, you know? I wonder why. Yeah, it just collects really easily for some reason. But yeah, we're gonna leave this shadow too. I mean, if, if this is the only thing that we get, this was worth it for me. <laughs> He's adorable. Yeah. There's Smokey. He's missing his hat. <laughs> and he looks so sad about it. Like, why does he look so sad? Yeah. You know what? Just go ahead and start forest fires. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> don't. Obviously don't. <laughs> but you know what, man? After I lost my hat, it's almost like nothing matters anymore. <laughs> <laughs> But I mean, if you needed a, a random guy, a YouTuber to tell you, um, don't start forest, forest fire, that might be a deeper problem than this. Yeah. <laughs> if you're looking for your guidance on forest fire for me, I've literally been set on fire. Don't trust, don't, don't, don't come to me. <laughs> <laughs> A very cute dory here. <laughs> we also have bolts here, but this is the one, this is from the baby's line. So he should come with a little like uh, swaddling blanket, but he's unfortunately missing that. They're always missing the blanket. Here is the worm from... Is that the, the caterpillar from the hungry caterpillar? Yeah. Caterpillar, caterpillar words? Yeah, I don't know what... It's from a book, I know that. Yeah, I know it's from a book. I don't know what brand it is, but I don't necessarily need it. I see this guy too from Among Us. Among Us. A really cute Yoshi as well. There's some really cool ones just in general, but... I think that might be for this. But like I said, honestly, the 101 Dalmatian plushie for me was worth the triple O. He is so amazing. Is there anything up here in these little plushies? Like that little uh, Mickey? Little sock monkeys here. The uh, Hanukkah bear. Ariel. Nothing amazing, guys. We'll, we'll update you guys when we get to the DVDs. If we see anything in here, we'll let you guys know too. But it seems like because we're coming here really late in the day. We found so much at the first store that within our budget, we probably have to just kind of only get the amazing stuff. And I can't, I'm not leaving that guy behind. Can't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He'll he'll fit in. <laughs> Back. All right. <laughs> Mr. Another little matrix there, but you can't dodge this one. Oh, you really didn't dodge that. I got a bad day. Oh, you didn't even try. <laughs> but can you dodge this one? Well, did a good job that one. <laughs> all right, so we have all of the stuff here from the thrift. We got a lot of plushies, but I can't wait to get into it. Let's check everything out and see if we got our value back, but not just that. Let's see what we're gonna add to the collection, my favorite stuff to do. So anyway, let's get into it. We actually got an unbelievable amount of bags. I didn't even realize we got so many. Okay, so let's get into it. So first off, again, bags always stay a mystery. So I paid $3 for this bag right here. Some of these could have been discounted too. Like I think these yellow ones were half off we'll try to remember if we know which ones were half off but we'll let you know this one right here that was normal price three bucks and i picked this one up because look what we have in here we've been collecting these spongebob imagine x figures for quite a bit and we have so many of them but i forgot that they made scooby doo imagine x figures so right here we have the fred figure which actually you know now that i think about it, the second store location we went to where they had that pirates imagine x ship yeah this would have really went perfect with that but i didn't think about it and it wasn't Scooby-Doo branded, so I didn't really need it, but it would have gone good with it. So you have Fred there with a little parrot, who's also a pirate, and we have Daphne, but to be honest, the Daphne looks like it might be from a different series almost. I guess they are both Imaginex, but why does she look so much, you know what I mean? Like they're both pirates, but it almost looks like she's from a different brand. I guess because this one is like, uh, it's like an action figure, you can move it. Yeah, like he maybe has stuff you can actually can put into his hands and stuff, but we have the Daphne right there too, but they are for the same brand, which I thought was Imaginex, but now I'm like, Maybe not. I don't know. We'll have to look into where these are actually from. They're Hanna-Barbera, of course, but they are from the same line. As you can see, the prints are exactly the same, too. But not just that. We also got this Shaggy figure. 
here. And I'm 90% sure that we have the Scooby to this. You know the one where he, I put him on a handstand? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll show him later. We have a Scooby that goes with this. He needs to be cleaned up a little bit, but this is the Shaggy that goes with that Scooby. So that is a perfect item to get to add with it. Can he handstand? Probably not. <laughs> you wouldn't believe what this man could do. Ultra Instinct Shaggy could do anything. Look, he's doing it. He's doing it. How is he doing it? I don't know. Don't go any. Don't. Don't stop. Stop. Right? Yeah, there you go. He's doing it. <laughs> <laughs> but let me go grab the Scooby real quick, actually. Yeah, so I brought the Scooby, and it is definitely, I looked at the trademarks on them and stuff. This is the same exact set. That's sick, man. So we literally got to complete the little duo there. So we have Shaggy and the Scooby to go with it. I think we got this one in fan mail, right? Yeah, I so, recall. Yeah, so now we have the Shaggy to go with it. That is an awesome. Already, again, when we do these worth it versus not worth it, if you guys don't know how we do these thrifting videos, we label everything worth it or not worth it based off of how much we paid. And some items, though, like these ones, I don't really know if it's going to be worth it, but to me, this is a guaranteed worth it. Whenever I can add anything Scooby to the collection for a cheap price, that's a win to me. So already worth it because of the Shaggy. And then these ones right here, they're pretty cool too. I'll probably keep the Fred for sure. The Daphne one looks like she could probably use some work like she's been damaged a little bit, but maybe for the time being, I'll add her too. But still really, really cool. So worth it or not worth it, I'm going with a big worth it already on screen, but we'll take a look anyway. All right, so we popped up a comp on screen for you guys. $12 for the Shaggy here. Could be a little more, a little less, but I really don't care. Like I said, worth it for me either way. All right, so next bag here, let's do it again. Another easy worth it for me all day, and that is this one. We paid $2.99 for this one, but it was yellow tags. That means we got it for 50% off, so we paid $1.50 for these guys. All right, and what do we have in here? Already makes it worth it because I know I have this SpongeBob. I don't know if I actually have it with a tag on it like that though so that's a big win there and then the patrick too i know Ooh. i don't have in general and they both still have their tags on them that is nice like when they had these in the liquor store all the time they were asking like four dollars for them so that would have been eight to get both of these into the collection and we just got them both in here for a dollar fifty like that's instant win then we also have this wrist we've been seeing so many at this particular thrift store we find so many of these slap bracelets this is gudetama slap bracelet mm -hmm. and then we have uh, no my gosh no it's not a reversible <laughs> a little Thai beanie baby thing we have this little rabbit with a string on his head we have uh another Again, another slap bracelet. That one's like a bat? Of some kind, yeah. Yes, yeah, so this is another snap bracelet. I don't know what this is even from. If you guys know what this character's from, let us know. We have a Secret Life of Pets dog right there with a tag on it too. And then we have, I believe this is Luke Skywalker when he's like on the island um, with the Porgs maybe. I don't remember where this is from. And we have another one of these slap bracelets. There's so many slap bracelets. And then this weird, like, I don't know. like. It's like a apple pie or cherry that's pie? this cherry pie there you go cherry, the pie. cherry pie cat i mean i think that's definitely worth a dollar fifty yeah absolutely. we'll take a look either way especially for these guys here but i think that's an easy dollar fifty worth it already with just the spongebob plushies they went for twelve dollars so if i wanted to get these to add in the collection if i would pay for them myself it would have cost me 12.99 so getting them for a dollar fifty worth it and then this guy mitchell found for like six seven bucks and then you know there's some other stuff in here too that's probably a little something something but i really we're just trying to decide worth it or not worth it and most of the stuff wasn't anything substantial that was worth it though all right this one i'm interested in and that's this snork i don't remember watching much of the snork is it a disney show no what is it this was on cartoon network and boomerang coming up next it's the snorks on boomerang from cartoon network Okay, Cartoon, why do you do so much with the Snorks? Because I watched it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember ever watching the Snorks, but he's got a very, very posable antenna. Is this an antenna or a sucker? That's like they're, they're that's how they breathe. Okay, so it's like a, like a snorkel. Oh, it's a snorkel, and they're called Snorks. He's connecting the dots. Yeah, <laughs> that makes sense. So they snork with this. They snork. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if they snork with that. They breathe through it. So he's got a little, little star in his chest there. And he's got what he is on his shirt, Snorks. <laughs> Not very great shape. It's made by Applause from 1983, bro. That is old. He's older than you. He's older than you. <laughs> now that's impressive. <laughs> <laughs> so the Snork is worth it too. We have that on screen for you guys. I mean, what did I, what was the price again? $2.99. Still worth it, but 
I, I mean, I just don't have any snork stuff, so I might just add this into the collection, but I feel like I gotta watch the snorks a little bit before I, uh, you know, put them on display. I, like, it's familiar to me. I can probably, like, tell you, like, there's a pink one, right? Yep. Like, I can remember enough, but I couldn't tell you one quote, their names, anything. So if you guys watched the snorks growing up, let me know. Uh, but he's still a very, very cool plush nonetheless, and I'm glad we grabbed him. Watch that and the Smurfs, because they were on basically side by side. Yeah, I watched <laughs> the Smurfs, I watched the Gummy Bears, but I never really watched the snorks, really. That was just one that kind of escaped me. All right, next item here. Mitchell found this, and this is one of the, I, probably the bag I'm the most hyped about, and that was $2.99. I do not care if this thing is worth a dollar. This is so sick. This is Emperor Zerg, and he needs to be cleaned up a little bit, so let's go ahead and see how well we can clean him up, but looks like there's some minor paint damage, but man, this is cool. So I have the Tim Tam for this set. I got the Tim Tam because he actually makes the most sense because he's kind of like a rev up toy. So how they work is you push their bodies like this and rev it up like that, and then boom, they walk. Hey. <laughs> He's so cute. Oh my goodness. That is incredible. And he does still work. And the more you rev him up, of course, the longer he will go. So you can see he's getting some good distance there. So he definitely works pretty well. So this will be going on our Toy Story shelf. Uh, if you guys haven't seen it, there's a new look at the Toy Story shelf here. We have gotten every single item you see on that shelf there for under $20 each. And this is no different. Even though he's a little bit damaged, I love Zerg. And this is so adorable. I, I get it now, actually. Yeah, like that, Tim Tam's like a marching man, right? He like marches. Yeah. And so the emperor is marching. Yeah, he actually has wheels in the bottom so he slides to attack usually it's kind of sweet seeing him with like little tiny feet you know? i can actually march as an emperor <laughs> yeah <laughs> all right that's a keeper worth it or not worth it worth it to me okay so the next bag here let's do it we have this one here so this one actually has for 2.99 this little dwight figure so i don't know if i'm gonna keep this one or if i'm gonna go ahead and give it to my mom to my mom loves the office so much i love the office who doesn't love the office and it's got a little dwight here and the stand is actually really nice quality. It's a universal network television. I don't know where this would have been released at, but nonetheless, he is awesome. And he is, of course, the assistant manager uh, right next to Michael there in the office. I don't know, he thinks he is, but he's just an assistant to the regional That's manager. That's true, he is the assistant to the regional manager. He is Michael's assistant, but not assisted as the regional manager in any way. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't getting that promotion. <laughs> I mean, the man owns his own farm. He's more wealthy than probably everybody else in that building, but nonetheless, Nonetheless, you know, he, he still takes that job very seriously. We love him for it. It's your form of flattery, so I thank you. Identity theft is not a joke, Jim. Millions of families suffer every year. So Dwight goes for about $10, and she was the come up, man. She was just hiding in the bag. Barb. Her name's Barb. <laughs> probably Barbara. Yeah, probably. But nobody nobody been called Barb since the 80s, like literally. <laughs> <laughs> if your name's Barb, let us know. But shout out to you. It's a cool name, but it's just like such a name you don't hear often. And Barb goes for $38. $38. This is a Funko Mystery Mini, but I guess her character must be one of like the more sought after or chase ones. So <laughs> she wasn't around long. So. Yeah, I mean, it's wild that she's actually that much. So we'll add that to our total value. And I mean, damn, Dwight alone was worth it. She was really worth it. That's like 50 bucks in that $2 bag. Amazing. All right, then next up here, we have this bag of plushies here. And we've sold so many of these squishables here for Grimace and also for the Hamburglar. They are missing their tags. So that does bring them down a little bit. But the fact that they're together is a lot like that is an instant win. And we've had one of him before too that we've had on the show before. Literally all three of these we have sold in the past. So this is sold in the past. Easily we made like $10 each. I'd say together is a lot since they don't have the tags, probably 10. And then this one we sold for 11. We had one of him before. So that's already worth it. This guy right here, probably nothing. <laughs> This guy right here, uh, I'll put it in for free with this, these guys. Probably extra nothing. And then the blue M&M. I kind of forget you exist. I thought the blue M&M was supposed to be a peanut M&M, honestly. I didn't even know there was a blue smaller M&M. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to think. Is there? Yeah, the I blue guess... M&M is a peanut. Who are you? Who are you? Mitchell tried to check these. I, I appreciate the due diligence, but th there's no way these guys are worth anything. This thing looks like a rat's elbow. You can get like three bucks each, maybe. Maybe. Or I can make a shot with them. Or with this one. 
Hey, he's worth something. Hanging on. That's a, oh man, that's a, that's against the rules. Actually, you can't hang on the rim that long. He's hanging on by a thread. <laughs> <laughs> All right, worth it on that bag. Next bag we have here is the Scooby Doo bag, and I got this one for one thing and one thing only. It's this Scooby Doo book. This one is so sick. You have an evil Scooby here that looks so awesome. It was only two dollars. I'm sure the books aren't worth much, but it's worth it to me. So that's an instant worth it to add to my Scooby Doo book collection. I know we don't have this book, and I'm not sure. I, I we might have that one. I don't know. We'll see. But I know we don't have this one, and that one looks awesome. There it is. There's Scooby. Well, let's find evil Scooby. Oh my gosh, that's so dope. He made like a marionette set of the whole situation we saw at the beginning of the book here, of these people. And then, I'm assuming this Scooby is gonna go haywire. And you know what happens when things go haywire. They become evil. Evil. Evil goes afoot. Look at that. So you have evil Scooby here as a marionette. That is gonna be so much fun. So I can't wait to check this book out. Next up here is, oh my gosh, dude. I didn't expect the nostalgia wave that was gonna be from this. We have have yeah. Captain Underpants. I used to read these all the time, but I mostly just read them for the little flip book moments. See if we can find one. So how the books are, they have really good illustrations and they're also super hilarious too. The books are just funny, but I used to just read them waiting for the next flip book moment. See if we can get one of them in here. Don't tell me they got rid of the flip books. Do you remember who the, the Captain Underpants is? I don't. He's their principal. That is weird. Yeah, yeah, don't think about it too much. Make sure you're thinking about it too much. <laughs> Dang, I don't see any flip book moments. That was the best part. Oh, 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 oh. there, there. You were, you were getting ahead of yourself. You see him? He's dancing. <laughs> there we go. Now that's what it's all about. Oh, the top tango. <laughs> all right, that's awesome. All right, that was worth it just for the fun of it. The book, the moments, worth it. Look at the title of this. That is super long title. Try to say it as fast as you can. Three, two, one. Cut the gun. Dang. <laughs> you didn't even get that's his name. You know how hard it is to read through a lens? <laughs> you didn't even get his name. Captain Underpants in the big <laughs> battle. What the heck? Captain Underpants in the big bad battle of the Bionic Booger Boy Part 1, the night of the nasty nostril nuggets. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'll do this one, change it up so it's not the same. Captain Underpants in the big bad battle of the Bionic <laughs> Booger Boy Part 2, the revenge of the ridiculous Robo Booger. Hey, we got Part 1 and 2. You know that girl, Grim Life Adventures of Billy and Mandy? Not Mandy, is it Mindy? Mindy, yeah. This looks like her brother. Like her brother that she just casted away. Looks like a... That's Erwin. Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like a, what's his name though from uh, the wizarding like the not Harry Potter guy Oh, you're talking about the one that was fighting against Lord Boldy, but you're not supposed to say that uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, I, I know I shouldn't have said it, but I'll also say Voldemort <laughs> Everything's cracking around you <laughs> <laughs> and then we got this guy right here. This is five dollars five friggin bucks for Hawkeye for Hawkeye <laughs> And then we also oh my gosh That's a boo-boo brittle. I don't want to touch the boo-boo brittles <laughs> Well, let's touch him with skin, the <laughs> tape. Okay, we got him out of there. Yeah, that's the good thing about uh, ugh, sleeves. Is just, you gotta put protection on your books because otherwise you get boo-boo brittles on them. <sighs> that was traumatic. Okay, we got the Ren and Stimpy book out. I will be putting it in a new protector. And man, that is clean. <laughs> Old Ren looks weird. <laughs> I think it's his grandfather. Grandpa, yeah. We have the Nightmare Before Christmas ad oh, there. Hogwarts. <laughs> yeah, Hogwarts, Illuminati. Uh, the, the, the pills. <laughs> Captain Crunch ad in there. Some pretty solid ads. I think it's Josh and Sam. Oh, that was uh, before they made Drake and Josh. Amazing artwork. So this one's already worth it, but let's see what this book goes for. I would imagine not much because the Ren and Stimpy books aren't that old. Most of the comic books within the 90s era, unless they're really, really important key issues, they're not worth much. But you don't leave a Ren and Stimpy item behind for $5 when you're doing a freaking thrift hunt. All right, so this book went for freaking $6 with three of them, free shipping. So he's like quite literally like worthless, but not to me. That's awesome. But this one, this is like less than free. Like it's really bad. <laughs> I'll pay you to take it for <laughs> Pretty much, like you're in debt if you buy this. <laughs> All right, so next items. We are done with the baglets. Let's start going into the, what? What do you always call them that? They're bags. There's many of them. What do you call pearl bags? Bags? I like baglets. They're little <laughs> tiny bags, you know? I don't know. Whatever you call it. So this is all the key items now we got. So let's go ahead and take a look here. I, mean, I guess this guy kind of was in a bag the last time we got him. So the, the fry cat was like more than 20 bucks. The burger cat was like 25 bucks. Now what is cinnamon roll cat worth? Let's find out. 90 
nine, nine cents. He's the cutest one. Hopefully he goes for the most. We gotta get more of these cats. He goes for about 15 to $20, so another worth it for 99 cents. I mean, yeah, if you guys are out there in the wild and you see these cats, I mean, you can always get them. I don't condole scalping, like waiting at stores, you know, for new products that are dropping just to go resell them. But if you're at the thrift store and you're looking for stuff that you like anyway, and you find a couple items that you can sell off and use that money to add into your collection, not, not none of us are, well, like maybe, maybe you're a millionaire, but for most people that are watching this, none of us are millionaires. So being able to buy some in your collection, little items like this can help you do that. You know, you might be to take this and then you know get that 15 bucks and go buy something green label to add to the collection so if you ever see these cats out there definitely pick them up all right so the next item here let's take a look i told you about my new obsession and things that i'm collecting and that is the disney big feet so i brought one one of my big feet so you guys can see it because i don't want to show you all of them and then there's no point in me doing the video when i get to like 15 or 20 different big feet in the collection then i'm going to do a whole showcase and like kind of reveal all of them to you guys so you guys can see them. They are the cutest thing ever. That's why I'm into them. I want to build a whole shelf in my bedroom, you know, because I love that my bedroom, I like having like more cozy themed stuff, like, you know, the Squishmallows and other pillow type stuff. The stuff on my bedside is like shadow and that's like really nostalgic for me. Like, you know, early mornings, you know, rainy days, playing Sonic Heroes and the Shadow the Hedgehog game. So it's cozy to me. And these big feet definitely have that vibe. And you cannot tell me this is not the cutest thing you've ever seen. This is Thumper. The big feet for Thumper. Oh my goodness. I don't know. I don't think that's the cutest thing I've ever seen. That's a lie. That's a lie. Is it me? Because that might be true. Uh, no, no, no. Okay, what is it then? I, well, that's a lie. I don't care what you have to say. Oh. <laughs> I think it's a lie. I think it's a lie. This is the cutest thing you've ever seen. Don't, don't lie. This is a cute freaking plush. I don't know that cat. <laughs> <laughs> but honestly though, come on. He's adorable. He's a really cute freaking plush. So this is Thumper and this is from the Big Feet line. So this is from Disney Parks and the line is actually called Big Feet. There are some that aren't called Big Feet that are still like the same kind of style, but they're just these cute plushies with big eyes and giant sized feet and they sit just like this. And I have, like I said, maybe about seven of them now, but I'm trying to collect as many of them as I can. They have so many different characters. They have one for Rex from Toy Story. Ooh. Yes, that would be really freaking cool. They have Stitch. I mean, they have a bunch of them and I've been able to find all of them so far for like under $10 when they're $30 retail at the store. So been getting some good deals on them. So now to go with my big feet line, we have Lucky from 101 Dalmatians. Oh my goodness. They look so good together. Yeah, I can see a whole shelf of these being super cute. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm working on is a whole shelf of just these guys. You know, like there's people that have insane Disney plushie collections and I'll probably never be able to rival those collections because, you know, SpongeBob is kind of my main thing. But I just love this line. Like if I can collect one Disney line of plushies to kind of represent my love for the Disney animation, it would be this line here. I am in love with them. So now we have a new one to add to the collection. And we also have Piglet as well. And this is from this line as well. Even even though he does look smaller, he is, you know, he's smaller. So Piglet also is from this line. And there we go. And we got him for $3.99. And I was a crew. They look amazing. And I'm not 100% sure. I, I got to look into it. Piglet may not be from the same line, but I feel like it's kind of hard because you can't really make Piglet's eyes like most of the big feet because his eyes are literally dots, you know? They're just those little tiny dots. So what do you really do? Just make them bigger dots. And then he doesn't have the little pattern in the bottom of his feet, like the little print. But, you know, he doesn't Piglet, have paws. Yeah. He doesn't have paws. So it's kind of tough. He could be from the same line. I have to look into it more, but I'm pretty sure he is. And I think he fits in with them very, very well. I don't even have the poo one yet, but I do have now the piglet. So we have two new big feet to add to the collection. And man, I am so pumped about them. And worth it or not worth it, the, the big feet, some of them can be like 20, some of them can be like 15. I can assume for sure these are worth more than what we paid for them. But on the fact that I'm collecting them, instant worth it. Okay, so I was able to confirm, yes, he is from the Big Feet line. So he fits in perfectly with them. That is awesome. So two Big Feet added to our counter. We're getting closer to doing that showcase video. And uh, yeah, paid five, six dollars for this one. I'd pay freaking six dollars all day of the week for that guy. And then this one was four dollars. So win, win, win. We also grabbed this, this giant size Domo. We've had so many different Domos that are like actually surprisingly valuable. I have one in my collection already. So I don't know. This one will probably end up going 
live over on our whatnot streams but this one we only paid three dollars for so i'm interested to see what he uh, on average goes for because that's a big size one too and the quality is great all right so domo unfortunately he's not one of those like super super high end ones because like if he would have been the 20 inch he'd have been like 80 bucks Oof. but he's like 10 maybe 10 maybe 12 inch so he goes for about 15 bucks at the most 12 dollars with shipping on top a dollar of that. an inch <laughs> he's like a dollar an inch literally but he's so cute and the material is so nice it reminds me of like a nice little early 2000s couch yeah it kind of does <laughs> that's, a, that's a thing i never thought i'd think about <laughs> you know what i mean like everybody had this material you go one way and it's one color and you go <laughs> yeah, everybody had this type of couch back in like the mid 2000s all right we got a lot of plushie here so let's just go ahead and get into it we got eva here this one is nice I, what i don't like about eva plushies unfortunately is they can't they don't stand you know she ain't getting a big feet she ain't got no feet <laughs> she just kind of rolls over that's the one detriment of eve's plushies but we have her right there let's get a couple out and we'll just check all of them out we also have mr brian griffin we got stewie there on the tag and i don't know what this five dollars because he's family guy and people just charge a lot for that but like i don't even know what episode this is from like when did he ever have this freaking like swim outfit on you know i don't remember i can't recall any episode with this if you guys could recall an episode where he was wearing this let us know Let's do one more in here. Let's do Scooby. We have the Rainbow Scooby. And I mean, uh, these guys are usually like five to like 10 bucks if you buy them. But in the arcade, it probably costs you like 30 to win them. You know, so they're pretty cool. And I think they charged us $4 for him. So, I mean, this might end up being a draw, but we'll take a look at all of them. My favorite, though, is this Brian, because that's just, like, you don't see Family Guy stuff. So, I, I'll, whenever we see something Family Guy, I'm going to grab it. <laughs> all right, so, Scooby, we saw one that literally went for one penny. One <laughs> penny. Somebody <laughs> bid a penny. A single little cent. Granted, the shipping was a little bit high, so I think they did. I mean, he's probably like 3 to $4, but probably not worth it. Like, what I paid is probably kind of where he lands, but he's still really cute. I like him. Not worth it, though. Eva is definitely worth it. She was going for anywhere from $15 to $17. Could be a little more. Could be a little less. So, worth it. And Brian is also a draw. I'm going to say a draw. He goes for about 10 $5 is a lot at a thrift store. So, I'm going to go with the draw on Brian unfortunately Brian sorry next up we have is the Mabel plushie and this one is going right into my collection we paid 99 cents for her Ooh, that's a good deal yeah I mean this was an instant grab for myself I do not have much Gravity Falls merch at all if I can find the dipper online for a good price I'll probably buy him to go with her this is amazing though so 99 cents I feel like that's gonna be pretty easy to, to get a worth it on that one but we'll wait for that and now we just need to get a dipper and like I said a, maybe a nice little grappling hook you know <laughs> <laughs> to go with her next up we have is from five at freddy's this is a five dollar should be five dollars at freddy's this thing is it is not cheap but you know uh, i've had some good luck on getting the five minutes at freddy's plushies so i decided to pick it up and next item here we have is Nihao Kailan. Not a big fan of the outfit she has on here, but nonetheless, it is still really cute and she definitely needs to be cleaned very, very much so. Her hair is like got all types of, of lint balls and uh, fuzzes. Yeah. And, yeah, there's a lint lot of balls. lint <laughs> balls, a lot of stuff going on there. She was on sale at least. Yeah, she was. She was uh, half off, which is the only reason why I grabbed her. So we got it for $2.50. So we have these guys done. Mabel is super worth it. She goes from like 20 to $30. Mabel's insanely worth it. For 99 cents. For 99 cents. That was a great deal. And then uh, this, he's named Dreadbear. Like Fredbear, but Dreadbear. And uh, the, the what you'll be dreading is how much you overpaid for him. He is about $10. So I paid five uh, after shipping costs and all. It's about what I paid for. So, we, you know, but is it, if it's a fair price, that's still not worth it because we're trying to get you know more than our money's worth at a thrift store so uh i'm gonna go with not worth it unfortunately and mihao even though i'm just gonna add her to our collection probably i'm not 100 percent sure yet i think she's really cute but i i'm just gonna depend on how well i can clean her up i'm gonna go ahead and give her a draw because even though she's only at two dollars and fifty cents they only go for about six bucks so i mean it's not like a crazy like a good margin so i'm gonna go with the draw for her all right we got a lot of plushies i think we just got in the hype of it we just started grabbing stuff you know i feel like this is not probably one of our best uh win loss ratios you know yeah we definitely got a lot of draws and losses but you know what i have fun doing these videos and this this 
This, that was worth the trip for me, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so next up, we got three more plushies here. Let's take a look. We have Ice Bear, which I already know he's probably not gonna be that valuable, because these mini so ones, they make so many of them, but they're really adorable, so I grabbed him $5. We have the Vintage Clifford here, and he was only two bucks. That's an easy, uh, that's an easy gap to cross. Hopefully we can do that one. And he's adorable too. He's got his little collar on there, a little like faux leather collar, a little couple three little Tommy Pickles hairs there. <laughs> you know, looking good. And then we have last but not least, the Tweety plushie here. And I like this one. The quality on it is really cool. The stitching, the hair is still all there. You know, as much as she had before. There's a lot of baldness going on everywhere else. But that little spot right there, you know, she been. That's all feather. What'd you mean? No, she <laughs> had that Bosley up and got that little spot right there fixed right up real quick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and she had the tag on her, and this one was four dollars. Let's take a look and see if we got our values on these ones. But uh, did kind of pay a lot for these two, I think. But I mean, this one's not too bad. I think she's adorable too. Ice bear's not worth it. <laughs> <laughs> and Tweety, you you were surprisingly worth it. I'm not gonna lie. There's so many Tweety plushies out there that usually they're not worth too much. But I just thought the quality was nice on it, so I grabbed it. You know, I just got excited in the moment, but she was still worth it. And Clifford, I mean, he was only three two dollars, so it was pretty easy to get him worth it. But <laughs> worth it. That, what is? That's a lot of shipping, but worth it. <laughs> I mean, he's a big dog, you know. Maybe he gets bigger in the box. He's one of those expanding dogs. <laughs> yeah. And our last item, four dollars, but you know, it's a SpongeBob product. I'm not even gonna look it up because I can't handle any more draws or losses. <laughs> but this one's going straight into the collection. So SpongeBob backpack, a little mini bag worth it from the yellow label era easy w for me all right so on that note that is everything we got on this hunt stay tuned if you guys want to see me add some of these items to the collection look forward to the next thrifting video where me and mitchell are going to go head to head and see who can break this tie we got going on right now because yes mitchell did win the last episode but i'm going to go ahead and say this it was nick jr and i could have found more items but i just didn't want to grab a bunch of nick jr stuff that we didn't need in the collection and i feel like because people like cartoon network more you got you got more points <laughs> this is called the defense now you rebuttal you know last time you got spongebob and i still won so i don't know well there just was nothing there there was nothing there that day i don't know we'll see we'll see <laughs> what happens in the next one okay but on that note stay tuned like i said we're gonna add some to the collection if you guys haven't already hit the like button subscribe if you guys are new here and if you want to support the show further go check out our patreon where you can sign up for only two dollars a month and that gets you extended versions of every single video that we upload, including over seven months backlog of videos with extended versions. So you can go back and watch videos if you're binge watching currently, it's the ultimate way to watch comfort cartoons because they're a little bit longer. Sometimes they can be two minutes, 10 minutes longer than the videos we put up here and they're 100% ad free. So that link will be in the description. There's early releases and a bunch of other perks as well too, but that all the information will be there. But on that note, you know the drill, scan it. All right, so we are going to be adding some stuff to the collection. So these guys, you know, I'm going to be keeping him back in the shelf where he is right now. But again, I'm saving that for you guys. These two are going to be going in the washer for the time being because they definitely need to be cleaned before we put them anywhere. These guys I really like. So I want to find a place for these right now. So let's do that. All right. And for our ties, they'll be going there on top of our Nickelodeon dictionary. And for this little backpack, this will be going in the vault for the time being. Don't really have any space or necessary reason to have it inside of here. But I am really glad to have it to the collection. Archived is another SpongeBob item checked off and another one added to our catalog. All right, so you guys can see I have the Tim Allen shuffler already. So now we have this one right here, the Zerg one. And he's gonna be going with all of our little Zergers. Berserkers. Yeah, I like that. I liked it a little too much, I guess. <laughs> all, right. all right, so we have her right here. Again, this whole shelf is gonna be moving soon. So I just put her there temporarily so she can kind of fit in here. But we have her next to all of the Gravity Falls and the uh, journal here. Now for the Scooby stuff. All right, so there we go. I added Shaggy with the Scooby right there. And for this random Fred, <laughs> I don't know. I just, I didn't keep the Daphne. She was too scraped up and beat up. So I just decided to just put her to the side to give it away to somebody for free on whatnot. But this guy, I don't really know. No, he doesn't really fit in in any section. I'm just gonna put him here on top of these band-aids. There you go, Fred. <laughs> and right here I have this stack of Ren and Stimpy comic books. I'm gonna be getting some new bags and boards, so I'm gonna put it there for right now because I just wanna get fresh ones for it because a lot of the bags aren't in that great of shape, so I wanna replace those. 
All right, and the Scooby-Doo books will be going with, well, the Scooby-Doo books. <laughs> Two brand new ones. I did check. We do not have this one at all in the collection. So that should be it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new here, and also go check out our Patreon if you haven't already. You can sign up for only $2 a month, and when you do, you get every single video completely ad-free. And not to mention that, they're extended, sometimes 2, 5, 10, 15, a million million minutes <laughs> they're a lot longer than the videos that we upload here on YouTube with bonus content that you cannot see anywhere else so that go check that out in the description there's some additional perks as well too like early releases but all that info is down there and again only two dollars a month and we appreciate it and it's the best way to watch comfort cartoons plus if you guys want to see us live you can go check out the whatnot streams where we're live every single Friday doing giveaways and hanging out talking to you beautiful people and everything that we make on those streams goes right back to supporting this show so if you want to support that as well well, that's down there and you get 15 bucks for free that you can use as well on your first stream or any stream whether it's my stream anybody else's stream on the marketplace it's there 24 7 it's a free $15 to take advantage of it and I'll see you guys in this video right here I know you're gonna love it so please check it out and I'll see you guys in the next one adios and bloop